All right, my friends, how are you today? It's your old pal Jordan the Lion coming to you from Florence, except we're gonna take a little day trip. We're gonna hop on the train and we're gonna go to Pisa and check out the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Days with Jordan the Lion begins now. So we're gonna walk about 15 minutes to the train station. Munsterman. Let's go take a look at what's inside there. Let's head over here. I got my ticket, it is a madhouse here. All right, we have arrived at Pisa Central Station. Looks like it's about a 25 minute walk to the Leaning Tower. Let's roll. Oh, how cool. Look at that. Isn't that great? I love it. And this is a statue of Vittorio Emmanuel II. Take a look at that. Isn't that one great? Looks like there's another two more over there. Let's check those out. There's one over there and one over here. Let's check this one out right over here. It's pretty cool. Oh, I've seen his art all over the world. It's kind of cool to see it here. One of the other places that we're gonna go to while we're on this trip, I believe has another piece of his artwork. Look in there. So far I do. There we go. I see something that looks like a leaning tower on that sign. All right, I think we're about five minutes away. Getting there. There's the cathedral. And there it is. Take a look at that. The line to get in is ridiculous. I don't think we're gonna do it. I think it's gonna happen, but we might try. Look at that. Now as I understand it, it took them 200 years to build it. And uh, this thing started slanting even before they were finished with it. Apparently the ground was too soft. So, in like 1990, they started working on stabilizing it, and uh, yeah, should never move now. But it used to be the in the Guinness Book of World Records is like the most slanted or leaning building. But I think there's a building in Dubai now that they purposely built that way. Take a look, though. You can see people up there. Yeah. 
Look, it's like an Instagram model party out here. Everybody's posing for photos and all dressed up and everything. Total chaos. And what its original purpose was, that's the bell tower. That was the bell tower for this cathedral. And look at the dome over there. It's a pretty cool statue there. The bells are actually going off right now. Wow, what a cool area. Oh, they even have military over there protecting the tower. Isn't that neat? Just the structure of it itself is amazing to me. But then when you think of the fact that it's <laughs> got this intense lean to it, can't imagine. Can't imagine trying to fix that. Oh, there's some kind of cool statue over here in the grounds next to it. Let's go check that out. There's the entrance to go in. Yeah, it looks like everybody that's in line already has a pre-purchase ticket with a time on it. So they schedule them. Let's go check out that statue I was telling you about over here. Oh, wow. And if you look down here in the wing, take a look in the wing back here. Well, I wanted to go up in the tower, but they don't have anything available as far as time slots for the next three hours. Maybe we can go get a ticket and go in there. All right, I got my ticket, let's roll. And I got a ticket for that one too, so we'll go in both. So we're gonna go in the baptistry first. And then we'll go in the cathedral. Oh, neat. We'll have to go up there and take a look around too. Now let's go wander through the cathedral over here. That's all gold. Gold painted, wow. Looks great. I love this architecture. Look at that. So ornate. It's 
It's as close to the altar as we can get. Well, we got another UNESCO World Heritage site we can cross off our list. So I was just reading reviews online as to whether it was like an important thing to climb the tower and see it or not. And most of the reviews looked like people were saying, eh, it's kind of cool to see the cathedral and the baptistry and stuff, but as far as like a view of Pisa, there's not much to see from up there. So they said it's more like kind of a thing you do just to say you did it. Don't worry, I have a feeling I'll be coming back this way again someday. I'm determined to come back out here and rent a car and drive through Italy sometime. What a sight. Look how many people are taking the photo of them holding the tower up. I'm gonna walk down here to the fortress wall. Basically got an outdoor market here. Einstein and Mona Lisa doing the dab. Pretty cool photo right in between the arch. Oh no, David, not you too. And Leonardo? Oh, come on. And your traditional souvenirs. Your Leaning Tower Pisa's and your David's. Just hanging out over here in the grass and from here you can really get a good angle on that lean, can't ya? Somebody got real artsy out here, didn't they? That was pretty cool. Seeing the Leaning Tower of Pisa, pretty freaking cool. What a beautiful place. You can see we're pretty close to the Pisa airport. We gotta take a look at this. I saw this from on the other side of the river. That is certainly a lot going on there. Very peculiar place for a church. Or I mean, I guess you'd say a pretty peculiar place for a road because it's a pretty tight squeeze to go flying through here. Pretty sure we're back over here by the Keith Herring artwork. And yep, just to the right, there it is. Did you see this? It says KH is my dad, Keith Herring. I just noticed this Keith Herring says 89. I guess you can just lay on these, like that girl is over there. Yep, we're back. Ah, Pisa Central, we have returned. That was a fun little trip just to check out Leaning Tower of Pisa. Always wanted to see that, now I did. Just 
just like that, we are back. 